What's up everybody, Mr. OG Games here. Today, we'll be taking a look at the end of the year, kind of stats, and also what has changed in the last few months to a year here in Age of Z. But first, a big shout out to Astro and JT. I appreciate you guys following the channel, sharing your thoughts and comments. It means a lot. And I look forward to many more. Now, what has changed in Age of Z over the past year and few months? Well, for one, the name. It's no longer Age of Z, but it's Age of Z Origins. Apparently, somebody else has that name, too. The biggest things changed, and most recently, of course would be little Sue and our newest girl here, which for the meantime, I've nicknamed her Side Chick. You know, little Sue's our main one, Side Chick. So with that addition to the game, that brings a lot of new zombie additions, skills, and I think they're gonna be focusing a lot more on zombie play in the future uh, so I would certainly stay focused on that and get it leveled up because you never know what's around the corner other things that they've leveled and released would be castles 31 to 35 or halls I'm sorry I play both camel games halls 31 to 35 were released and of course that has brought us some very higher troops for the game the t11s yes you've got the hell tank and the doomsday cannon i'm nowhere near those cats also at 11 you have the titan infantry and the death gatlin that just sounds badass and then last but not least you have the Havoc Dominator and the Light Energy Shielder. All of these guys were brought to you after you reach 34, get the T11s, and start your epic journey. What else? What else has changed? What else is on the list? Well, VIP. You used to only go to VIP 10. Now we have 11 and 12. Hopefully it'll stay there for quite some time especially if it mirrors its predecessor. What else? What else has changed? Well, not major things in the game, actually. Not anything that major. Uh, the biggest things were 31 to 35, which that entails opening up building levels and a lot that's rolled in to advancing your city and advancing your hall level now events have come uh, I'm sure there will be plenty more in 2021 uh, the events though pretty much plateaued at the same um, I don't think we have anything active to show you of course you've had the Tyrannosaurus invasion been there for a while Medici's treasure that's a new one just came out within the month actually um, Pretty much, I call it the rat race. You go down and you open up levels to see how deep you can get. Tyrant of Doom's been around for a while. Doom's Iron Grip. Strongest Commander. Void. All of these things have been around for quite some time. Along with Elite Wars. What's to come? What will come? What will be next? That is the question. 2021 hopefully will be a much better year than 2020 was as far as real life concerns now it was a big escape for gamers we could dive into our favorite games and play the hell out of them that's if we weren't working unfortunately i was so what will 2021 bring i'm hoping that they slow up on the hall level a little bit until I can at least get in the 30s. Speaking of which, I'll start with 
my year-end position, where I'm at, what I'm doing, and what will be coming up. So right now, I'm just gathering for haul 27. I know I've been saying that. I only rock one farm right now, but that's soon to change also. I'm gonna start at least two or three more to help with the endeavors. And then my level 16 farm I have now, I'm gonna raise that guy up to 20. That will help with the minerals. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. I've got a lot of food and oil and packs. I'm not really concerned about that as much as the steel and minerals, but I'm getting close as you can see. So shortly after the new year comes, I will be able to go ahead and level up to 27. After that, of course, it's the typical. It's the garage, hospital, that sort of thing. I probably won't mess, you know, with the factory, with the camp, or with the workshop uh, until I am well closer to 30. And then, of course, bring a lot of these other little guys up as well. Um, as far as the equipment, still rocking the same. Nothing has changed there. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of just in limbo right now with resources is where I'm at. Officer-wise, I'll go ahead and show you what I have. Um, let's get a better look at it. As far as what I have right now, I still have two pieces in the, war in the warfare department at Blue, and actually both will be going to full, full star four stars here in probably a month. I'll keep those actually until I get some purples leveled up to where it meets or exceeds what those two blue officers bring. Panda's real close to four. Uh, I've been working on him a lot. And then of course strategy, both of those are almost at four along with my directors as well. So I'm making it slowly but surely. I'm coming up. I am focusing big time on the Panda though because right now with what I have to work with, long range is still what I'm going for although I am working towards other things as far as the mid row because uh, those Havoc Stormtroopers right now are looking pretty sweet. Uh, but that's where I'm at with officers. Yes, lots more work to do. I know the game is... It's an ongoing process. It's a a constant struggle anyway. It, unless you can just throw money at it and build up as fast as you want. Me, I'm not that. It's gonna take me a while, along with probably a lot of you guys out there as well. Uh, but yeah, that's that's where the how the city's looking. My plans for 2021 uh, with Age of Z. I hope also to get some more uh, battle footage to y'all um, I have ra raised my uh, HP not my HP I'm sorry my BP up enough to where I can have a couple full fleets uh, to send out and that and honestly I'm just focusing on resources and I'm kind of gonna just keep it there I can do what I need to do and I don't have to worry about being smacked and losing everything because I've, I've done had that happen a couple times and right now it's just more or less a grind to, to get up to 30 at this point. Uh, that is surely my main focus. Uh, you guys can also see there's no blinking red light for once. Uh, some bigger news. Uh, the merger we had uh, back about a month ago just didn't gel. Things didn't click. Uh, so we sort of separated. We are still TLG. Uh, but a lot of the others uh, in US-1, they they went up to different alliances. Some broke out on their own. Uh, some went to 300. Uh, but right now, the, the key is, right, we've got a, a little bit of, um, I, I don't want to say peace time, but a little quieter of a time. And it's allowing some of us to grow as well. Uh, so that's what's happening. That's how my 2020 will end here in Age of Z Origins. And I look forward to bringing you guys much more in 2021. Hopefully a lot more action. And I'm sure a lot more growth. I wish you all a safe and happy New Year's Eve. And a wonderful day tomorrow for New Year's Day. May you get some rest, some relaxation, and get ready for a great 
2021. But as always, if you guys like the video, smash the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, y'all keep gaming and I'll see you in the next one.